Hello friends. It has been so long <laughs> since I've been on YouTube. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal. I can't even remember the last time I posted a video. <laughs> a lot has changed since I last posted. I used to post videos about beauty and makeup. I don't know. It was just not something that was bringing me a lot of joy. So I just kind of fell off and stopped doing it. Um, but recently I started my own book club page over on Instagram. I have just found that books are my, like one of my, pa my biggest passions. And, um, I've been doing a lot of reviews over on my book club page, also on my TikTok as well. And I just decided, why don't I start doing them on YouTube too? <laughs> Might as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. I am going to be reviewing November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Um, this is a book that I recently read and has been on my shelf for quite some time. And I finally just decided to read it. I don't know why it took me so long to read this because I loved this book so much. This is probably one of my top Colleen Hoover books. I think I've read about eight of her books and this is easily in my top three. There are two main characters in this book, Fallon and Ben. Fallon goes through something very traumatic that pretty much changes the course of her whole entire life. A couple of years later on the anniversary of this traumatic event, November 9th, she ends up meeting Ben in a very random situation. <laughs> they have this instant undeniable connection, but unfortunately Fallon actually plans on moving to New York City literally the next day she's planning to move to New York City, which is like all the way across the country. <laughs> they have a connection that they cannot shake. They decide that they are gonna meet up every year on November 9th for the next five years. Ben is in the process of writing a book and so he feels like um, them meeting up every November 9th will really contribute to this book that he's writing. One year that they meet up, Fallon ends up finding something that really makes her question everything. It makes her question their relationship. It makes her question Ben and if he's really telling her the truth about how he really feels about her and about their relationship. That is when the big plot twist happens. And let me tell you, let me tell you, this twist was so good. I was not expecting it. It was a very unexpected twist and I love a good unexpected twist. This was an easy five stars for me. I loved every second of it. Um, I, ow, can you not? Okay, sorry. <laughs> what I was saying is I love this book so much. Um, I really felt like I was in this book with the way that it was written. I think Colleen Hoover has a really good way of making you feel very connected to the characters and the story. I personally loved Ben and Fallon's relationship, especially Ben. Um, he was just a very deep and poetic person and I just loved his personality. But my feelings for Ben kind of shifted a little bit a couple of times in the book. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything away, but I will say that I loved him and then I hated him and then I loved him again and it just kind of went back and forth. But um, Ben is just one of those characters that kind of, he had me a little, he had me melting a little bit. I really liked Ben. <laughs> now this is sort of a same time next year trope, which I particularly am not crazy about in books usually. But this was an exception because usually same time next year tropes, at least the ones that I have read in the past, are a little bit corny, a little bit, a little bit too cheesy for me, a very, very unrealistic, but this one I felt like was so much deeper than that. It had so much more meaning in the writing, in the storyline, and just the overall message in the book was just so deep and meaningful. And I just really, really loved this. Like if I were to describe this book in one word, it would be beautiful. I just felt very connected to the characters, to the storyline, to the meaning behind it, the message behind it. Clearly I loved it. It was an easy five stars for me. If you have read this, I would love to know down in the comments what you thought of it. Oh, that is my short, sweet, and to the point review of November 9th. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe. I also will put my Instagram handles down here. I have a personal page. I have my virtual book club page as well, which is so much fun. We do one book a month and then we meet via Zoom um, at the end of every month. So I'll put those handles down here. I'll also put my TikTok, which I do a lot of book content on my TikTok as well. So I would love to have you guys go follow along over on those platforms as well. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.